come a long way too, yeah. right? Don't you feel in, in your mind just it, it, being able to move away from those two characters that you played? Yeah, there, there's something really um, within the context of uh, doing the show to, to go and, and, and I, I say it only half jokingly to play someone who gets killed rather than is doing the killing, who's the, the victim of someone's murderous impulse. Um, rather than uh, acting on it, it, was cathartic. You know, it's nice to remind yourself that there are other ways to be when you play a character for a really long time. Your sense of yourself as an actor and your sense of that particular character and performance become fused in a way that you kind of long to extract yourself from. Was there residue from Dexter? Yeah, I think there probably still is. Um, <laughs> you know, even though we only took about half the calendar year to shoot the show, uh, when we were off, there remained a preoccupation, you know? You're still kind of tied to the train tracks, waiting for the train to come again. <laughs> and uh, now that it is, um, you know, Dexter as we know it has ended, uh, the eighth season is, is, is wrapped and the final episodes are airing now. And uh, it's, it's uh, you know, a real soup of feelings, some sadness, some wistfulness, some pride, but also some relief at not... Um, carrying around the obligation to simulate this murderousness. Right. And also a sense like <laughs> shaking it out of my head, having, you know, played somebody who kills people uh, and is able to go on with his life. Uh, there's a sense of, what have I done? Oh my God, <laughs> you know? <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, I know it was all a simulation, but I think there's some part of me that thinks it really happened. <laughs> not, not a... Anyway, that's but that's almost <laughs> that's almost like a mild PTSD, right? Being in yeah. that head for a while. Yeah. Well, I think there's part of us that records ritual and reality in the same way, and we're sort of in a state of deep pretending when we're acting. And maybe there's a part of me that that on some on some level uh, thinks that all that stuff I simulated really happened. Right. Well, even before you got the character, didn't you used to tell me that you stalked people on the street to practice? Not before. I, I used the fact that I got the part yeah. to justify <laughs> to justify the stalking. Right. But yeah, I was living in New York at the time, and um, and yeah, I, I I had some time to kill. I had some time to prepare for the role. I'd done some <laughs> some time to kill. I'd done some <laughs> I'd done some um, research, reading transcripts of interviews with serial killers, documentaries about the phenomenon of serial killing. Um, books by FBI profilers, but one thing I did, I would go out by myself in New York and try to find someone who was also alone, maybe go to a restaurant with a bar and have a seat in the corner and find somebody. I know this is creepy, but... <laughs> and I would, uh, you know, watch them finish their meal and endow them with all kinds of reprehensible characteristics, a potential victim for Dexter. Yep. I wasn't going to actually do anything. And um, I, would, I would see what it felt like to follow them a little bit. You know, from a block or so away. It's easy in Manhattan because there are people right. everywhere. And you never got caught? No. 